You've got to be kidding me. Are you out of storage on your Steam Deck? Yes. Are you currently sitting in your living room stressing about which games to uninstall? Yes, exactly. Well, I'm Leonardo PD, my friends call me Leo, and I'm here to tell you there is a simple solution which involves upgrading internal SSD inside your Steam Deck to a larger one. Hi, how are you? I'd like to place an order for a 1TB SSD for the Steam Deck. Sounds good, thank you. Did someone order oh a God. 1TB drive? That was insanely fast. We have the fastest deliveries in town. Okay, well, thank you. You bet. Be sure to leave a 5-star rating. I'll be sure to do that. Thanks again. Bye-bye now. What the heck was that? Hey all, it's Taylor. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're going to be upgrading the 512 gigabyte version of the Steam Deck OLED with a terabyte SSD. And we're gonna do that with this video is not sponsored and any links in the description are not affiliate links. This video was produced solely by myself and funded with my own money. So if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe. I fix it kit because it has the torque screws needed to take the back plate off of the Steam Deck. And taking the back plate off now does not compromise the structural integrity, so we can open it without worrying about ruining the Steam Deck if we're careful. We're gonna be putting this one terabyte drive in there, which is a Western Digital SN770M Black Edition. So it should be plenty fast and give us more storage than that 512. If that sounds good, let's go ahead and let's get started. We're gonna to wanna to shut the Steam Deck down for this whole process. Once it's off, go ahead and flip it over, preferably inside the case so you avoid damaging the screen. Luckily, we only need one bit for this whole process, and that is the TR6 screw bit. There's a total of six screws around the entire Steam Deck, and mine were a little tough to get out, but just go slow and you'll get it. I like to put the screws in these dividers according to the layout of the back of the Steam Deck so I know exactly which screw goes where. Be sure to check the SD card slot because you don't want to open this with an SD card in there. Getting the Steam Deck open can be a little tricky. I decided to leverage the top corner here to pry it open. The inside of the Steam Deck reveals this long cable that spans all the way across. This is gonna get in the way of what we need to take off here in a moment. This shielding is held on by three screws and the ribbon cable goes over it. We're gonna hold off on unplugging the ribbon cable, just leaving it there and working around it. Now we can carefully lift off the shield to reveal that the battery is plugged into the motherboard. We can take a spudger to this to unplug this, but note that I was not able to get mine unplugged. I'm moving this little cable held on with tape out of the way, and we use the same bit to remove the SSD. Take off this little sleeving here and open up the new drive. Now reattach the battery cable and put everything back together. I powered on the Steam Deck and was greeted with a no boot device found message. Break out a USB drive and a computer, plugging that in and navigating to this website which is going to detail everything you need to do. I'll have it linked down below. First you're going to want to download the SteamOS image.
Then you're gonna to wanna to download Rufus, which is going to format our USB drive. Once it's downloaded, open Rufus and extract the packaged SteamOS folder. Go back into Rufus and make sure that your USB drive is selected and go ahead and navigate to that image and select it. Once you have all your options set, go ahead and hit start and it will start writing that OS. Safely remove your USB drive. Since the USB drive is USB-A and the Steam Deck is USB-C, you're gonna need this adapter. Simply power on the Steam Deck and it's going to automatically boot into this desktop environment. Once here, you'll see you have four options at the top. You're gonna to wanna to select Re-Image Steam Deck. This is going to erase everything and completely reinstall the OS. Let it do its thing and then it will restart where upon restart, it will take you to the setup wizard. Once you go through the wizard, you'll be booted into SteamOS where you will see that you now have one terabyte of storage. It's here where you can unplug your USB drive. And that's all there was to it. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Drop your comments down below with your feedback and suggestions. Let me know what you thought of the video. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. If you made it this far, I truly, truly appreciate it. Share this with your friends and family so that they are educated on upgrading the Steam Deck. I will see you guys in the next one.